Hey, what's up? It's Russell, and we are playing more Nuclear Throne. So, yeah, we got the daily today. Let's start it up. Um, we're gonna pick... Did I do a robot run yesterday? I think I did. Then we did fish. Uh, da, 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 da. We will do... We will do a rogue run. Well, no, yeah, we'll do rogue. We'll do a, a rogue daily. Why not? Don't play rogue often enough. So, rogue... Uh, not, not a super complicated character, um, but starts out with an assault rifle, you can see here. Uh, it's called the Rogue Rifle, but it's effectively an assault rifle. Uh, the only thing about Rogue is that the IDPD are constantly coming after you. Doesn't matter if you break a portal or do whatever, they're coming after you no matter what. So that's like your main thing. The other uh, thing about uh, Rogue is the special ability, which is kind of like an airstrike kind of thing. You'll see that later. I don't want to waste it. Because it uses very limited ammo right there. You have a maximum of three. So it's not something that I'm like, oh, let me just show how it works or something. It's like, if I'm using it, I'm using it <clears throat> to, like, you know, kill a whole crowd of people. All right, luckily we got Slugger. Happy about Slugger. So we can go kill this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to airstrike right there. So that was the airstrike. Uh, the reason I use it there, or how I use it, um, is to kind of, like, get rid of the IDPD that are chasing you. So kind of counter the fact that the IDPD are out, always after you. Just blow up the, just use a portal strike on wherever they're going to appear. And it's even better if you are, you know, next to some other enemies as well. Uh, machine gun, no, because assault rifle slash rogue rifle is is more my style. We'll take rabbit's paw, pick up some more HP and stuff like that, or have a chance to rather. We're gonna blow these guys up with portal strike. Another, that's another way you can use portal strike is you know taking out a high priority target doing a lot of damage to him like our good friend big bandit here we're gonna I, i'm trying to and also one thing about rogue that i don't i don't know where it says it uh but i've noticed it is that when you get hit you kind of do like a little a little explosion you saw it there when he hit me oh gotta be careful we're gonna do one right there sadly we got one of those big idpd guys ouch there we go, got him. Luckily, and all, but luckily we have Rabbit's Paw as well to kind of get a higher chance to you know pick up HP packs, med kits, if you will. I actually think they're they're called med kits. I'm not sure. Oh, either way, they give you HP and everybody loves them. Stronger portal strike, not really something that I'm super you know uh, excited about. Not that it's bad, but I don't know. It's just. If I get better with a portal strike and I find some awesome ways to use it, maybe. But until then, we'll go with open mind. Some more chests. And I'm pretty sure how that works. And I'm not 100%. But I'm pretty sure that you can either get another ammo chest or another weapons chest or even another uh, radiation um, like container. Because I've seen a couple of those after I've picked up open mind as well. i got to kind of be careful. I don't want to... And now that I think about it, I was like, oh no, well, I was going to say, how does Portal Strike work indoors? But it's it's not, get out of here, it's not a airstrike, it's a Portal Strike, so they teleport the, wow, 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 they teleport the bombs in, obviously. I got to be careful that they don't blow me up with that right there. That's what I was a little worried about. Yeah, this is, yeah, that was it. Dang it. Dang it, 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 dang it. So that was a sucky daily. So I guess after that we will go with Melting. Does Melting have a B skin? I don't think I paid attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melting does. Just a more, a little more, a little more skull going on there. All right, let's get out of here. So yeah, Melting, super low health. You can see there. If I get hit, I die effectively um, against most enemies. Maggots do like one damage, so you can get hit by a maggot once and you'll be fine. But other than that, you really don't want to get hit by anything. But your special move is stuff that you kill, you can blow it up. So that's a lot of fun. I'm going to kind of like stay back when it runs up here and whack it with a wrench. Missed. Got to be careful though, because if this thing hits me, that's, that's guaranteed. Those things, those green bullets from them do like three damage. So, Bloodlust. Horrible on... Uh, 
on uh, melting here because so what I take one damage like, if I get hit and I die there's no reason I would the only way blood loss would work is if I get hit by a maggot and if I get hit by a maggot then that's just uh, too bad for me so we'll take open mind there I kind of forgot what I chose there for a second I gotta be careful though that's why I kind of have the wrench or normally I don't take melee weapons but it allow me to in a tight spot uh, get rid of projectiles that are coming at me that I don't think I have time to, to dodge. Get rid of that right there. Luckily, that guy just killed himself. Made it a little easier on me. Thank you very much, sir. Blow that up. And uh, I like how you can kind of do like a chain reaction with the explosions. You can kind of see. Yeah, you can get if an explosion kills somebody. Woo! If an explosion kills somebody, then you get to explode again and again and again and again. I'm going to stay back for this one because there's two of them. Now that there's one, though, I can feel a little more comfortable about moving up. Grenade launcher. Not a fan, especially not with melting. Bigger corpse explosions or boiling veins. Boiling veins actually could uh, be useful. because Since I'm permanently under 4 HP, unless I get like some sort of mutation that changes that, uh, I cannot get hurt by fire or explosions. And that could be interesting. Uh, uh, but we'll take Throne Butt, Bigger Corpse Explosion, just because it's a little more fun and we're on the daily. I think if we were on a daily, I, so now I can actually take the grenade launcher if I want, and I can't accidentally kill myself with it. Shoot, do like a nice little long shot there. I can still get hit uh, and killed by bullets, obviously. But, you know, we're trying to avoid that. That's why we got the wrench. See if we can. Boop. Stuff that's about to hit us, we just. Nope. Laser pistol is something that I would definitely want to take. So we'll we'll make our way back down there soon enough. I gotta kinda be careful. Don't want any of those to hit me. I'm gonna shoot those grenades over there. Gotta be careful. Alright. I have to hit him with them actually though. Like obviously to do, to do damage. There we go, take him out. Switch that for laser pistol, because laser pistol is way better. Pop gun, not way better, so we're gonna leave that. That's too many of these freaking scorpions. Oof. Oof. That was, that was close right there. We're good, though. And I'm not going to take Screwdriver uh, to go to YV's Mansion just because I don't feel like it. Um, I don't really feel like it's going to help us. We'll probably die there because we're melting. So we'll get out. Um, We'll take Rhino Skin as melting because that changes. That It's super important because it makes it so that one little mistake doesn't end your run. If you think about it like that. Because if you think about it, normally you're effectively, to most enemies, a one-hit kill. So, if you can get a mutation that makes it so you're not a one-hit kill, it's, like, really important. That guy over there. And we gotta be careful because of these stupid green rats. So, I'm gonna try to go look to take care of, uh... Dang. See, right there, I would've died. If I didn't... If I hadn't picked up. Okay. We're gonna... Try to clear out all the stuff except for the green. There we go. Move up. What the heck? That dude just ran at me. I've never seen that. I've never been attacked by them directly. That was crazy. Luckily, Wrench does uh, some good work on this level. Taking out the rats in one hit. This might be like the only time I've ever shown... Look at that. And someone died and didn't even... Whoa! That was scary. Slugger? Yeah, I'll switch Slugger. Get ready, you. We're gonna we're running out of usefulness for the wrench anyway. Because now we are in the scrapyard. Oh wow. Wanna take care of him. And we have two we have one really long range weapon. And one effectively long range in the slugger. Because even though it's a shotgun. It has more than a fair amount of range. You can see I can probably take out them from over here if, if there wasn't anything in the way. Oh, Splinter Gun. Very good. So I think we'll go... We don't have Laser Brain, so I think we'll go Slugger Splinter Gun, or... It's definitely the... I think just because Slugger has the potential to do... Uh, it, it, without laser, because without laser brain, which now we want to get, obviously, obviously we get laser brain right after we drop it. But I was gonna say, without laser brain, then 
Slugger could do a lot more one-hit kills. So we'll take... We'll take Impact Risk because it'll make the corpses like bounce around more and travel a little farther. So you can kind of... Oh, but they're not on screen, but still. You can get those things to... Which actually might be a negative if you, in certain ways if you think about it. Because then it's less predictable where you're, where the bodies are going to end up. Um, oh, wow. That was close. If I would have had boiling veins, I guess those guys can't hurt me if you think about it. Take him out. I, I was kind of confused. I was like, that guy dead? I don't remember killing him. That one is not dead. Got, there you go. Crossbow. Assault rifle. I think we're good with what we have here. Uh, definitely a debatable choice. But I think Splinter Gun, I just want to start using it a little bit more. Because I feel it's re actually really good. Boom. Man, Splinter, like I'm saying, like I was never really a fan of Splinter Gun. I always saw it and I was like, eh, I'm not going to pick it up. But I've been using it. And uh, I remember the other day, one of the other runs with Eagle Eyes, it, it did a lot of work. Man. We kind of got to be careful. Start blowing up those corpses. So now we're just going to lay into Big Dog. And use this. Uh, I was going to say use this to dodge around his bullets. But that is not going to be possible anymore. And luckily he's a big target. So most of the splinters are going to hit him. And I can take out his missiles in one hit. And he dropped some HP for me. Thank you very much sir. There we go. Pretty easy Big Dog fight. We're not even using Melting Special uh, very much. Bazooka, no thank you. Alright, let's move out of here. I love how this Melting Run's going on like way longer than that. That freaking daily with Rogue. We'll do, we'll do uh, maybe Scarier Face here, I think, is, is a good option. So we can have more potential to get uh, some more one-hit kills on, on enemies and just overall kill enemies faster with both the Splinter Gun and uh, the Splinter Pistol. Is it Splinter Gun? Either way, Splinter and the Slugger here. Both of those will be a little more useful to us. Boom, boom. Like, look at that. Splinter Gun is... is wow, that, that was a nice bounce. It's being able to... We're being able to kill those spiders a lot easier. Lightning Pistol. I don't know which one's better. Lightning versus Splinter. But we've used Lightning Gun a lot. We haven't necessarily used Splinter Gun very often. So, and I don't, if I picked up Laser Brain, then yeah, definitely I would have changed it there. I need to kill this guy before he gets close to me. But, yeah, you can see Splinter Gun does, it does a job. It does it pretty well. Even though all Splinters don't always hit, you're able to relatively consistently get one-hit kills. Uh, especially on the weaker enemies, like the dogs and stuff. I'm not sure exactly on these, yeah. Probably don't have to hit them all either as well. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a Mimic. Gave me some HP. Thank you very much. That is one of the good thing about Mimics is that they usually drop. Uh, it's like, well, it makes sense because they're like a fake chest. So it kind of makes sense that they would have a, more of a chance to have something inside of them. Um, so now we get Laser Brain again. I think we'll take Rabbit's Paw. Chance to pick up some more HP, some more ammo. But yeah, other than that, we're doing... Well, I mean, not other than that. I mean, we're, we're just overall, we're doing really good on this run. Ready you. Ready you. I like to make my own little hidey hole that I can retreat back into. I want to kill that guy so he'll blow up. Nice. Here we go. Just get a bunch of explosions going on. Try to get over here and get all those rads. But yeah, I like these one-hit weapons. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm itching my face at the time. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. These one-hit weapons, because it just feels good to be like that and then that. And just like keep continuously switch. There's something sat super satisfying about it for me. You know, it's like... Oh, wow. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb on my part, obviously. But that was a quick, pretty quick video. Um, And, and uh, I think that that is... That's actually okay today because I don't have a lot of time to record. Uh, so if you like the video, then you can hit the like button. That is definitely allowed and encouraged. Uh, you can also, you know, leave a, a comment or send me a message about anything specific. If you don't just want to, you know, hit the like and, and peace out, you can, uh, you know, give some actual uh, more in-depth feedback 
which is always, uh, you know, extremely important. Whether or not it's positive or negative, um, as long as you don't come off as, uh, you know, a jerk that doesn't understand um, just common human etiquette and relations, then I'm not going to complain. Also, King of White People is playing Rocket League, so you can see, uh, you can see that down there. Um, but yeah, other than that, well, you can subscribe, obviously, if you want to see uh, more videos of Nuclear Throne, Darkest Dungeon, and just awesome games in the future that I want to play. And uh, again, I really got to remember to shut off Steam before I uh, do these videos. But either way, I hope you have a great rest of your day.